coming. You're now rocking with the greatest. Reacting to the old and reacting to the latest. Every single genre that's Birdman's taste. Everybody's welcome here in Birdman's place. Yeah. <laughs> What's shaking, Mike? Birdman here. Welcome to my place. As always, thank you for stopping on in. Ladies and gentlemen, you have tuned in to yet another reaction slash review video and we're gonna dig right in but first things first i need you to do something for me follow me on twitch.com slash birdman's place for all the live streams they are the lifeblood of this channel we have so much fun they are a marathon and secondly and just as important ladies and gentlemen i need you to relax take your shoes off kick your feet up and enjoy because we gonna have some fun today Ladies and gentlemen, today's Wednesday. And if you know me, you know that I don't film reactions on Wednesdays. I don't do things like this. You also know that I'm a big Granger Smith fan. You can tell here and here. Um, today, I'm sitting there eating dinner with the family. Got my phone over here. And all of a sudden, Something pops up on it. Now, I'm subscribed to Granger's channels, his, you know, the Smiths, his regular channel. I watch his podcasts, everything like that. And um, I see something come up. And uh, it's not the Smiths, because today's Wednesday. The Smiths are on Tuesday and Thursday. It's not the podcast, because the podcast pops up in the morning. And I look at it, and, I, and I'm like, okay, what is this? And it says, me... And the tree and river. And I'm like, huh, I wonder if this is like some sort of unscheduled podcast or something. And I go in there and it's about three and a half minutes long. And I'm just about to go and press play to check it out. And I'm like, you know what? I think I need to react to this. I got a weird feeling that I needed to react to this. I don't know why. But something told me that I needed to go upstairs and react to this. So that's what I'm doing. When I get something that tells, when I get a feeling like I need to do something, I do it. It's like a, like a calling kind of situation. Like I feel like I needed to do this. So that's why I'm here. I don't know what this is. Is it a song? Is it an Earl Dibbles Jr. comedy thing? I doubt it because it's, uh, it's, it's got River in there. So there's something about River, his son. If you don't know, Granger had a three-year-old son by the name of River that passed away in 2019, drowning. So I don't know what this is about, but um, I mean, honestly, it's Granger, so it, it's gonna be good, I'm sure. Um, I don't know if it's a new song that he's releasing. Uh, I didn't see it on his album, Country Things, so the newest album, so I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm ready to find out. So ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I mean, there's really, only one thing left to do. Let's get it. One day I was alone and walking in the woods, looking at the magnificent trees around me. I had this wow. crazy thought that, what if these trees could talk? What if they had a story to tell? Could you imagine hundreds <laughs> so I did of something kind of tree, strange and of pulled out a pen trees. and paper, what wrote out a conversation the with the biggest one. Okay. It went like this. Hi, Tree. I'm Granger. Hey, Granger. What is it like to be so tall? Uh, I could feel the sun before the others, and that's good. Yeah. But it also makes me the most vulnerable to lightning and wind, and this that's a beautiful true. risk I take. Mm. Well, you know, I've traveled a lot, and I've seen a lot of forest and many bigger trees than you. I've only seen this forest. Larger trees and other forests don't concern me at all. But the I love that. You know, I've seen I've seen bigger trees than you. I've seen, you know, much bigger trees than you. That doesn't concern me. This forest is my home. These other trees, they're my, you know, this is my home. That's all that matters to me. This is what matters to me. My home. I love that. I absolutely love that. I, I don't know if that was a metaphor that he meant to throw out there, but that's what I'm getting from it. 
Let's keep going. Koyas in California are ancient and incredible. Maybe there's a secret to their life. I only know how to be a red oak in Tennessee. Ooh, well, just how yes. deep are your roots? I only know how to be me. As high as my trunk is tall, that's how low my roots go deep. Well, your roots must be pretty strong to support that trunk. It's not how strong they are. They're just as limber and fragile as my limbs. The strength comes from how I bury them in the soil and intertwine them with roots from other trees. Ooh. Well, where did... I I'm starting to think this is metaphors. You know, my, my roots, yes, they go deep. But they're just as fragile as my limbs. But what makes them stronger is the soil, which is home, and the other trees around me mixing the other trees so family friends what makes me strong and makes me who i am is the people around me in my home and who i am maybe i'm just crazy and this is just it's not really supposed to be like that but that's what i'm getting from it i'm getting metaphors from this and it's beautiful i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving this so far Let's keep going. Where did soil come from and why do you rely on it so much? The soil is the history of this forest. Ooh. It comes from the leaves and seeds and fruit and bark See, and limbs and roots family. from the very trees that spawned my acorn yes. and protected me from the wind when I was family. a sapling. And oh. so many, many other trees I didn't even know. And I'm not supposed to. I'm sorry I keep stopping. The family. The soil. The history, the people that protected me, my family, my parents, and allowed me to grow and protected me when I was a kid, allowed me to be who I am today. That's why that's important. Wow. All of them contributed to the very foundation that holds me upright. Yes. Why is everyone family, dropping leaves? Friends. Because there are seasons when we don't need them. When that season passes, it gives us space to grow new, brighter, and more plentiful leaves. Let but some trees past. have lost more than others, and you still have many leaves on top. The rate by which we lose them is not important. Any slight breeze or drop of rain could affect some differently than others, but the fact is, we will eventually lose them all, so every much. last one. And with every leaf we drop to give space for the new, the old is not wasted. Yes. It joins the others on the ground to help the soil. Yeah, that's cool tree. The leaves are your past. You shed them, let them go. Some people lose more than others. Some people lose more friends than others. Some people lose more of their parts of themselves, their heart than others. But it doesn't go to waste because everything that you lose goes to your ground. It grows to your roots. It helps you grow. It helps you with your future. Everything that happens to you in your life, bad or good, helps you grow. Granger, bro, this is amazing. Seriously, absolutely amazing. Let's keep going. But I'm mainly here because of River. Me too. Really? Are you afraid of losing your river? River has brought me life and nutrients that shaped my canopy the and spread my water. limbs oh, with incredible nourishment. Wow. I'm very blessed to be touched by the river because yes. I understand that many red oaks are not, but my strength isn't drawn from the river. It's drawn from the sun. That's why I grow God. up towards the sky oh. and not down towards the water. I allow the river to feed my growth towards the sun. I allow, and I'm seeing this out of Granger's eyes, I allow River to feed my growth to God. Losing River, I allow that to feed my growth to God. But if I was worried about losing River, then that would put me and my saplings in danger of losing the light. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's too late for me. I lost my River. What oh. should I do? Shed your dead leaves. Don't hang on to a single one. Drop the burden. New leaves will then have space to grow when the season changes. And they always change. Freeing you of the weight. And at the same time, preserving the future of your forest. 
Be thankful that your soil has been enriched by river. It's just making me think of my dad and think of Granger and everything he's going through and the pain and Amber and London and Lincoln and their kids, Amber's his wife, if you don't know. Um, shed your leaves. Shed your dead leaves. Get rid of the burden. <laughs> Let that drop. Hit your soil. Hit your history. Hit your roots and help you to grow to God. Be thankful that your soil, your history has been enriched by river. Thank, be thankful that your, what you've gone through, your life, your life, which is your soil, has been, been enriched by that person. And all the other fallen leaves and branches of your ancestors. Listen, use that unique soil and the roots of those closest to you to hold you in perfect balance and then keep reaching up, up, up towards the light. Use that soil that was enriched by them to make you grow. Now I know why something called me to watch this. I needed this. I needed this tonight. Shed your dead leaves. Let go of that burden. We've all lost somebody or something that we still can't get over. Shed your dead leaves. Let go of that burden. It's not going to go away. But let those dead leaves reach your soil, your strength, and let it get in your soil, hit your roots, and help you grow closer to God. Let that go. Let the pain help you get closer to God. This might be the most important reaction I've ever done. I think it is. I think this is the most important reaction I've ever done. Let that go. You're never gonna be better. But let that pain, let those dead leaves help you. Let it reach your roots and help you grow closer to God. Use that. When those leaves hit the ground, they help the soil. Let that pain get you closer to God. Use it. I know why I needed to watch this. Something told me I needed to react to this right when I was going to watch it. I know now why. I hope this helps somebody. If it helps one person, just one person, this was worth it. Normally, I would sit here and finish this and upload it, do a thumbnail, and then it would go on the list, which right now my list, I, I've got reactions scheduled out till into August, but uh, I'm going to release this either tonight or tomorrow as soon as I can get everything done. This needs to get out there now. This is important. If this helps one person, just one person, it's, it's worth it. And that, that's what I'm here for. That means something to me. It really does. That was the most important reaction I've ever done. Period. It is. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I really do. Follow me on social media. My links are right down here. If you'd like to be a member of the flock on Patreon, get some exclusive content. Videos you won't see on the channel. Videos YouTube doesn't want you to see that they block. Those are on there. You can get early access to my videos. You can get your request shot up the list faster. You can get 10% off of merchandise. We got Turn It Up Tuesdays where we watch movies together live. We watch um, stand-up comedy. We do a little bit of everything. Scary videos. 
uh, Q&As, wrestling. I mean, you name it, we, we do it. It's a lot of fun. Definitely worth checking out. Information's up here, link in the description below. Like, share, subscribe, pass me around. Let's grow the Birdman fam. Birdman fam flock, love you guys. Mean it. Shed those leaves. Let them hit your soil. Let them hit your strength. And help you grow closer to God. I really hope this helps somebody. I mean that. Just one person. I hope it does. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. All right, much love. Peace. Who was shaking bacon? Birdman here. Welcome to my place. As always, thank you for stopping in. If you like this video, go on ahead and come be a member of the Birdman fam by hitting that subscribe button. Also, make sure you catch the videos on this screen as well as a playlist of all the stuff I put together. Birdman fam, I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.